The overall goal of this long bone dissection and bone marrow isolation procedure is to quickly and systematically remove the long bones and to collect the bone marrow for further downstream analysis. This method can help answer key questions related to bone marrow biology, cancer metastasis, and immunology. The main advantage of this technique is that the dissection process is quick and standardized, the bone marrow isolation procedure is fairly sterile, and the method is consistent between users. Begin by positioning the mouse in the supine position. Then pin all four paw pads below the ankle joint and spray the mouse with 70% ethanol, thoroughly dousing the legs. Next, make a small incision to the right of the midline in the lower abdomen, just above the hip, and extend the incision down the leg and past the ankle joint. Pull back the skin. Then cut the quadriceps muscle anchored to the proximal end of the femur to expose the anterior side of the thigh bone and pin the muscle out from the leg with the pin at a 45 degree angle from the board. With the scissors against the posterior side of the femur, cut the hamstrings away from the knee joint. Then pull back the skin and hamstring muscles anchored to the proximal end of the femur to expose the posterior side of the bone and pin the hamstring muscles out from the leg placing the pin at a 45-degree angle. With the forceps, grasp the distal end of the femur just above the knee joint. Then guide the scissor blades on either side of the femoral shaft toward the hip joint. After reaching the femoral head, twist the scissors, moving the top...